What is up guys and welcome to this Mobrise tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to create a scrollable menu. So what this looks like is whenever you click on a menu item, it's going to automatically scroll down to that section of the page. So portfolio, contact, start, services, I'm sure you get the point. So to make this happen, what you want to do is open up Mobrise. Now we won't actually be working inside of the editor because Mobrise do not currently support this kind of stuff. So what we need to do is publish our website. So select a folder you want to publish it to and click publish. So once it's done exporting, you want to open up the index.html file in a text editor. But before we do that, I'm just going to demonstrate that whenever you click a link, it's just going to open up mobrise.com. So this is not what we want. So to change this, what you need to do is open up the index file in a text editor. So I'm going to choose notepad plus plus. And then the first thing you want to do, and don't feel threatened by all of this if you haven't looked at an index file before it's actually quite simple and i'll walk you through the basics but before we get started with that what you need to do is find the body tag you can just control f and find uh, the body tag here and what you want to do is you want to type in data spy equals scroll and then data target equals dot navbar okay so that's all you need to do to the body tag now you can go ahead and save this so before we actually make the menu scrollable i need to explain some key concepts about your website so each uh, part of your website so the header right here for example with this text right here is called a section same with the welcome part right here this is also a section this is a section and so on so whenever you click on a a link you want it to take you to a certain section of the website so what you need to do is define uh, you need to give each of these uh, section an ID so the menu knows where to take you by default I think that Mobrise gives you IDs to all your sections but if not you can simply add an ID to a section I'll show you how to do that so with that out of the way let's open up our text editor once again and we need to find this first section right here with the New York apartment rental service so ideally you want to look for this text to figure out where this section is in the code so let's scroll down until we find this text so it appears to be right here New York apartment rental service so we can be fairly certain that this section right here is the one that we want the menu to take us to so what you want to do now is where the section begins right here you want to look at the end of the tag and see if you can find an ID so for this one it has the idea of header two to one if it would not have an idea you can simply add one um, by just typing in whoops by just typing in ID and my ID okay but in this case it already had an ID so I'm just gonna copy this now you want to scroll back up to where you have your menu so right here right and the actual nav bar is down here where you can see all your links so this part right here if you find the list item itself by the end of this item you will find an href which is the link that you are taken to whenever you click on the menu item so the first link right here that says about I'm gonna go ahead and change this to start and we want this link so this one right here to take us to um, this section of the website instead of mobrise.com so to do this what you want to do is type in hashtag and then the ID of the section so header two to one now if we go ahead and save this and try it out in the browser it should now be taking us to the top of the page whenever we click on it and as you can see 
it is working. But if we click on another link, it's still going to take us to mobrice.com because we haven't changed these links yet. You can see it still says mobrice.com. So what we need to do now is find the next section, which is the services. So you want to scroll down until you find our services. So right here, our services. So if you look a little bit above this, where you have the text to identify which section you're in, you can find the section clause. And by the end of this section, you should see an ID. And like I said, if you don't see one, just add one. So I'm going to copy this right here, scroll back up to the menu. And for the next menu item, let's see, here we had the first one. So this would be the second one. So put hashtag and the ID in, save, and let's try that out. So update, and now whenever you click on services, you'll be taken to the services section of the website. So as you can see, it's very simple. You not just need to redo this process for the uh, two links we have left. So let's find the portfolio, scroll down. And here you can find see the portfolio. So section class MBR gallery, yada, yada. And here you have the ID. So copy that. Scroll back up. And for the portfolio right here, let's go ahead and change that to hashtag gallery. Scroll down to the contact page. See where this is. Here it is. Okay. So this has the idea of form one J. Scroll back up and change this to form one J like that. Click save and let's try it out. So let's update this page. And you click on services, takes you to services, portfolio, contact, start, works like intended. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it useful and I'll see you guys in the next one.